Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, popularly known as Queen Elizabeth II, was born in Mayfair, London, on April 21, 1926, at 2.40 a.m. As the first daughter of the then Duke and Duchess of York, little did anyone know she would one day become one of the most beloved monarchs in history. At 25, Princess Elizabeth became the Queen of the United Kingdom and 14 other Commonwealth nations. Despite being born in the spring, her official birthday was celebrated worldwide on June 11th. The tradition of monarchs having two birthdays has been introduced previously. It dates back to King George II, who was born in November and wanted to celebrate his birthday in June when the weather was better. He tied his birthday celebration with the Trooping of the Color Parade, which became an annual event. Since then, monarchs with birthdays during colder or wetter months have followed the same tradition and officially celebrate their birthdays during the summer parade. Apart from this interesting fact, let's appreciate 10 facts about the late queen that we may need to be more familiar with. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this glimpse into the life of a genuinely remarkable majesty. And while you're at it, remember to subscribe to Modest Narratives. 1. She reigned so long that four of five UK residents weren't alive when she ascended the throne. Can you imagine living where Queen Elizabeth wasn't the reigning monarch? Well, for most Brits, that's hard to fathom since 81% of UK residents weren't even born when she took the throne, as the UK Office of National Statistics reported in 2017. Elizabeth became the queen right after her father died in 1952 and held that position until she passed away at 96, making her the world's longest reigning monarch of all time. Two, she didn't have a driver's license. Despite having a royal chauffeur available whenever needed, Queen Elizabeth often preferred to take a joyride in her favorite Jaguar or Range Rover, donning stylish sunglasses and a silk Hermes headscarf. Interestingly, despite her love for driving, she never obtained a driver's license. However, at 18, while serving as a mechanic for the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service during World War II, then Princess Elizabeth insisted on learning how to drive. As a member of the royal family, she was exempt from requirements such as holding a license or displaying a license plate on her cars and carrying a passport for international travel. 3. Her wedding dress was purchased using rationing coupons. The then Princess Elizabeth wore a stunning gown by Norman Hartnell for her wedding at Westminster Abbey on November 20th, 1947. However, her dress was unique because she purchased it using post-World War II rationing coupons. The British government introduced rationing coupons to ensure the fair distribution of goods, including the silk, tulle, and chiffon used to make the gown. Even though many women across the UK gifted their clothing coupons to the future queen, it was illegal to share them, so they were all returned. Despite the mishap with her wedding tiara, which broke just two hours before the ceremony when the hairdresser tried to secure it to the 13-foot veil, she still radiated on her wedding day. She even wore her grandmother Queen Mary's diamond tiara to complete her regal look. The broken tiara was taken under police escort to the Royal Jewelry Workshop, where it was quickly welded back together in time for the vow exchange. 4. She liked cocktails and champagne, even in the morning. According to former royal chef Darren McGrady, the queen enjoyed a drink no matter the time of day. To start her day, she indulged in a gin and Dubonnet cocktail with lemon and ice, which may have been a necessary pick-me-up after being jolted awake by bagpipes. As the day progressed, the queen paired her lean protein lunches, which typically consisted of grilled fish, chicken, or dove, with a glass of wine or champagne. Queen Elizabeth sipped on a dry martini and more champagne to cap off her evenings after a long day of the ruling. While she regularly enjoyed these libations, she also liked Bacardi rum, Gordon's gin, Bulmer's cider, and Pym's liqueur. 5. She tricked people with her hats. Queen Elizabeth's fashion sense was not limited to her boldly colored ensembles. She often punctuated her outfits with an equally eye-catching hat crafted by royal milliner Rachel Trevor Morgan. However, her love for ornate hats was not just for her enjoyment, but also for the people, as her daughter-in-law Sophie revealed that the queen wanted to be easily recognizable to the public. Despite this, the queen did not want to reveal her outfit or accessories to gossiping palace staff before important events, 
so she planted decoy hats around her estate to keep her upcoming looks a mystery. 6. The queen was always seen carrying a handbag wherever she went. The queen was well known for her vibrant fashion sense, but did you know she was never seen without her trusty handbag? It wasn't just a fashion accessory, however. While it may have seemed like a simple carry-all for her makeup and reading glasses, she used her handbag to communicate with her staff. Each bag placement held a specific meaning, with different positions signaling different requests. For example, if she placed it on the table, she wanted to leave within the next five minutes, while putting it on the floor indicated she needed to be rescued from a boring or awkward conversation. Talk about a clever way to get out of small talk. 7. She invented her dog breed. Queen Elizabeth was renowned for her affection for animals. She had an extensive collection of pets, ranging from horses and elephants to sloths. However, her Welsh corgis were particularly close to her heart, as she owned as many as 30 of them throughout her life. One of her corgis mated with her sister Margaret's dachshund, creating a new dog breed, the Dorgie, for which the queen was given credit. 8. She's a Bond girl. In the opening visuals of the 2012 London Olympics, the silver-haired monarch had a cameo alongside actor Daniel Craig as James Bond. According to royal dresser Angela Kelly's 2019 memoir, The Other Side of the Coin, The Queen, The Dresser, and The Wardrobe, the director of the 007-themed skit initially requested the Queen's approval to use her likeness. In a surprising turn, Her Majesty offered to appear in the clip and take on a speaking role. In the final production, the Queen delivered her line, Good evening, Mr. Bond, flawlessly before she and the suave spy hopped on a helicopter. Queen Elizabeth's two corgi pups even sneak into the short film. 9. She had a personal ATM. Queen Elizabeth doesn't need to worry about someone stealing her wealth using a credit card machine. That's because she has her ATM at Buckingham Palace, provided by Coots, the eighth oldest bank globally. And she once trolled a group of tourists who didn't recognize her. Her Majesty may have seemed severe in most pictures, but she had a playful side. According to one of her former security guards, while at Balmoral Estate, a group of clueless tourists failed to recognize Her Majesty, who was wearing a headscarf. When asked if they had ever met the Queen, Elizabeth responded with a sly grin, No. She gestured toward a nearby policeman and quipped, But he has. Classic Liz. Well, folks, that wraps up the fascinating facts about the late Queen Elizabeth as we honor her birth month. If you want more royal stories, hit that subscribe button for the Modest Narratives videos.